Okay, uh, which of the following characteristics is cons consistent with the patient's murmur? A 26-year-old female presents to the primary care physician for a routine checkup. She has no significant medical history and denies any symptoms. On auscultation, the physician notes a grade 1-6 systolic murmur, best heard the left lower sternal border, which decreases in intensity with Valsalva maneuver and increases with a passive leg raise. There are no additional abnormal heart sounds or signs of heart failure. So I think the first thing, just looking at like the prompt is the systolic murmur. So that can also like limit choices to systolic murmurs. So looking at the answer choices, let's see, aortic stenosis, HCM. I'm not even sure what an innocent murmur is. Um, mitral regurge and ventricular septal defect. So uh, on top of that, it's at the lower left sternal border, um, which is where we can hear technically VSDs, but um, let's see, 26 year old female. Uh, it, the murmur decreases in intensity with Valsalva and increases with passive leg raise. So maybe if like you have an increase in venous return, the murmur increases in sound mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in comparison. So that would be another clue. Um, if it decreases in intensity with Valsalva. Um, Hmm. I would personally like rule out innocent murmur just because I don't know what that is. Okay. Um let's see what else is there. And then I would be between well the other four, but let's see. Um, let's see if I were to increase like venous return, would that make an, an aortic stenosis like louder? Um, I would think yes, but yeah, I'm having trouble with this one. Sure. Sure. So this one, you know, um, I'm going to work through it and kind of, you know, give my thoughts here and then yeah. let's see kind of what you think. So 26 year old female, very young, correct? Yes. She, you would say overall, she's pretty healthy when you read this question. She's not very sick, correct? Yes. So one out of six systolic murmur is one out of six. Is that loud or very soft? Soft. Soft. Okay. So soft. So, um, Left lower sternal border uh, decreases with intensity, meaning it probably disappears with Valsalva and then maybe increases a little bit with passive leg raise, right? No additional abnormal heart sounds or signs of heart failure. So would you say this overall picture of this patient, is she sick or not sick? Not sick. So, mm -hmm. so what, what, what do you feel as though if I were to kind of, um, if you were to kind of now think, what would you pick kind of looking at this picture clinically? I would probably pick HCM. HCM. Okay. Final answer? Yes. Okay. So it's actually an innocent murmur. Okay. Hard question. Okay. The reason why is innocent. The reason why I was trying to push you that she's not very sick is all these other answer choices. Um, for instance, aortic stenosis, usually older patient population, right? She's too young for that. And you're going to get quite a bit of symptoms with aortic stenosis, get more fatigued, et cetera, right? Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, she fits the age range, but usually um, you can get arrhythmias and it's actually usually the, um, the rever um, how do I say this? Um, um, yeah, so it, it might fit kind of this physical exam finding, but it's, she, it's kind of, kind of the, the way they usually do hokum is they give you a, um, either an echo or they say like, oh, um, an athletic patient all of a sudden randomly dies. That's usually hokum or they give you a family history, right? right. Mitral regurgitation, right? That's not in the right, correct location. It's usually at the apex of the heart, right? And the way I kind of remember this is if you, here's your sternum, right? Always party till midnight, right? And so they would say kind of further away from the left sternal border, right? So not here, um, VSD. Um, usually, you know, you can, 
usually it's um, in a pediatric population. It can, you can kind of catch it later in life, right? Um, but VSDs are, you know, um, probably going to be louder than one out of six. Okay. Right. Um, but yeah, it, does that make sense? Kind of how you work through this clinically? I know, you know, sometimes when you're looking for these specific things, I want you to kind of look at it overall, right? Age range, you know, she's a younger person, she's overall healthy. And um, a innocent murmur just means that um, the murmur happens with the blood flow going through a regular valve that has no issues. And it's usually really faint. Um, okay. Usually grade one out of six right? It means it has to be systolic. Just remember that anything that's diastolic is a pathological murmur. What I mean by pathological is, you know, it's an issue. You get what I'm saying? Innocent murmurs are not an issue. They're usually in young, healthy individuals. It's very, um, it's usually one out of six systolic and um, you have no symptoms. Right. Okay. okay. 